Welcome back to Dr. Pillai's Millionaire Yoga Talk Show. And now I'm here with our special guest who's joining us by Skype all the way from London. It's a little bit late for him. His name is Saj P, and he's an internet marketing professional. Can you hear me, Saj? I can hear you fine, Mahini. Can you hear me okay? Are you, are you with us? I'm here. Can ah, you hear great. Me? Okay, there you are. Saj, yeah. thanks so much for joining us for the show today. I really love your story because you explained to me how you had a lot of success in your life and everything just became really magical after you started practicing Dr. Pillai's teachings. Can you just share your story with us about how you found his teachings and the difference it's made in your life? Sure, sure. Well, thank you. First of all, I'd like to say thank you uh, for giving me the opportunity to share my story. Uh, to be quite honest with you, words won't do justice for what Dr. Pillai and his teachings have done for me and continue to do for me on a daily basis. But just to give you some short snippets of what's been happening for me, uh, I'm a successful internet entrepreneur. I've worked on several multi-million dollar projects and campaigns. I own several companies. I have a very good team around me. And I've always been a student of personal development and spirituality. And I've always had a keen interest on how to take spiritual technologies and apply them to create wealth and success in my life. So um, it was whilst I was studying Wayne Dyer that I came across Dr. Pillai's teachings and I started watching his YouTube videos. And, you know, I was immediately drawn to him. He has such a wonderful presence. And more specifically, I was fascinated by the profound knowledge that he was uh, talking about and then breaking it down to very simple practical applications that anybody can do. So I started applying some of these sound frequencies and, and some of the different meditation techniques that he teaches in his videos. And I've seen amazing results and I continue to see amazing results because I apply them 100%. I'm one of those people that I believe that to be successful in life, you have to really go for it. And I go for everything 100%. And, you know, I've got so many stories. I think one of the stories I was sharing with you last time, Mahini, is uh, one of the techniques that I used, uh, which was included the stream, breezy meditation, sound, and a few other techniques. I manifested almost $200,000 within two weeks. And that was a period of my life that I really needed to make money very, very quickly. So I applied it 100%. And out of nowhere, the money came, you know. And this really gave me an immense amount of faith and um, belief in these teachings. And, um, you know, I really immersed myself in them. I'm using them every single day. And not only am I manifesting money, because I'm manifesting a lot of opportunities, a lot of money, but that's not really what's important to me right now. Because these teachings are opening up a whole new dimension in my life. You know, I've got a profound sense of peace. I'm married now for a year and a half. I have a beautiful relationship with my wife. I live in a beautiful mansion here in UK on the most expensive street in London. I have two swimming pools in my house, you know, and my life continues better and better and better. And um, really, I am so, so grateful because these teachings are opening up a whole new dimension for me and, and everything around me is inspired by me and the lifestyle that I lead. So not only am I affecting my life and my family's life, I'm affecting everybody who's coming into contact with me and in my space. So, um, you know, I'm very thankful. I can't say enough about these teachings and, you know, they're really doing miraculous things for me. So, yeah, I hope that gives you a small idea, you know? Yeah, big idea. I heard about your beautiful place in London, so I look forward to staying with you sometime. You're always welcome, Mahini, anytime. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Saj, the last time we talked, you were speaking about how everything is just really effortless for you now. Can you share more about that? Uh, what was, I couldn't hear the last word you said, Mahini. Could you repeat that? Uh, you were saying that um, even though you had success before and now you've had like, all these great things in your life, you were talking about the effortless nature of the manifestations. Right, right, absolutely. And, and this, is what, uh, this is what really I'm interested in. You know? I've always uh, wanted to do things effortlessly. Uh, you know, I don't really believe in working hard. I believe in working smart. And these teachings are really, um, I don't know if it's my third eye that's opening or what, but basically nowadays I can just start thinking about something, whether it's a project or a certain person I want to manifest or a certain situation, and miraculously it will start happening in my life. And I can see it happening over and over again. So I think this is definitely something that happens when you start using these techniques over and over again consistently, um, that it starts opening up certain dimensions within you that things just start to happen effortlessly. And, you know, my life at the moment is very, very effortless. You know, I have uh, great businesses. I have, I'm doing a lot of complicated things in my life, but they're all happening effortlessly. And I think that um, 
it's just going to get better and better and even more effortless as I keep on practicing these techniques. And, you know, the really interesting thing for me is I'm really, really fascinated by uh, these concepts and how they're teaching me to create miracles as an everyday part of my life. Uh, miracles was something I've always read about in the books and, and it's always been portrayed to me like it's something very difficult to achieve. But using these techniques, I can see myself creating miracles on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, this is really interesting. This is really interesting. It's really profound for me. And it, I definitely attribute it to some of these meditations and these sound frequencies that I'm using. So uh, to answer your question, I don't know how it's all working. To be honest, it's doing the practices and I'm doing consistently and I'm doing them 100% and things are just happening all the time. So, um, yeah, it is really beautiful. You know, the really heartwarming thing is after I met you, it wasn't a short time much later that you decided to sponsor one of our Hope Centers in India. And I was sharing with you the other day about how uh, recently I was able to visit your particular Hope Center that you're sponsoring. Right. And I was thinking about you when I was there with the children, and these children are not only rural, not only poor, but they live high on a mountaintop, and they're totally isolated and secluded from human civilization. They, they looked like they had never seen certainly anyone like me, but they really didn't know what was life. They were so innocent. And um, when I was telling you about them and the tremendous changes that they were having already, um, it just really touched your heart. And uh, I feel so grateful that there's people like you in the world. You're a young guy. How old are you, Sash? I'm 29 at the moment. 29. 29. Okay. So you've accomplished so much at the age of 29. And you're already giving back to these children. And I think it really struck your heart when you heard me tell you about the story of these ch children, right? Oh, totally. That was, that was amazing. And to me, to be quite honest with you, I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Even though I've made a lot of money and I'm going to make even more money, to be honest with you, none of that is important unless I can do something with that. And, and having the opportunity to donate to the Hope Center and, you know, have my own Hope Center sponsored in India. And then just seeing these smiles on these children's faces because I get the pictures all the time. Uh, I get emails all the time and, and you telling me the story when you visited them. That really gives a lot more meaning to my life than making any amount of money, you know, because to be honest with you, uh, another dimension that these teachings have opened up for me is an immense sense of peace and contentment. Yes, I've made a lot of money. Yes, I'm making a lot of money, going to make even more money. But even if tomorrow I was to make no money, it makes no difference to me because with myself, I'm feeling so peaceful and so happy and so content that I think that is worth more than any dollar figure, you know. So any money that I make, you know, I have given some back and I want to give some more back. And that really adds joy to my life, you know, it really, really adds joy. You know, I showed my mum the other day uh, the pictures of these kids uh, that I've been emailed, and, you know, she almost had tears in her eyes. She was like, oh, you know what, Saj, you're doing such an amazing thing. Let's go and visit these kids in India one day. And I could really see that this is what life's about, you know. It's about giving back and help, helping people who are less fortunate than us. And, you know, yeah, that's, that's, that's really makes me happy. So uh, thanks for sharing that, Mahini. That's great. So everyone, Saj is really a role model of what Dr. Pillai talks about. Money is not the end in itself. Dr. Pillai teaches that people need money for financial freedom so that they can do what they really want to do. And most importantly, if you have the good karma to learn how to make a lot of money, or if you use the Millionaire Yoga program in order to make a lot more money, you don't just keep it to yourself, but you give it to others and especially to the poorest people that would never have that chance. So, Saj, thank you so much for being who you are. I know you're inspiring to everyone who meets you, certainly inspiring to me. And I can't wait to see what you're going to be doing in your life since you're only not even 30 years old. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mahini. Thanks for, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Take care. Okay, Bye. everyone. So we're just going to take a few questions now about the 45-day Comprehensive Millionaire Yoga Program. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Any questions from the studio audience here? We'll just give you a second. Got to warm up your fingers on chat. Later on, I'll be talking more in depth about the components of our Millionaire Yoga program. 
I hope that many of you have had a chance to click on the Begin Now button to the right of your viewing window so that you can read about the program. Uh, it's something that we've been working really hard on for the past few months, and like I said, Dr. Pillai wants to launch it during this incredible time for Money Miracles so that people get the maximum results. So we've got a pro uh, question here. Can you use the program anywhere in the world? Definitely. In fact, um, we now have people all throughout the world that use Dr. Pillai's techniques. And um, what the great thing is about the Millionaire Yoga program, everything is done uh, virtually, so to speak. So we have um, three audio-video techniques that are taught by Dr. Pillai. Uh, there are four group calls uh, where you can join people live and you can ask questions. It's very interactive so that you can find out how to make the most of the techniques. We have eight webinars and you can join from anywhere in the world. And then there are two customized astrology reports. So it's really easy. In fact, it's exciting to me that with all of Dr. Pillai's programs, people join us from all over the world. So that's why we do the programs in this way so that we can really build a global empowered family. So we've got another question here. Do I need to be advanced at meditation? Absolutely not. In fact, um, Dr. Pillai often talks about the beginner's mind. So the beginner's mind has a great advantage. If you have never meditated at all in your entire life, you can get tremendous benefit from these techniques. When I first met Dr. Pillai, I didn't know anything about meditation, nothing at all, and my experiences were incredible. And now, why is that? The techniques are empowered by the mastery level of the guru. So Dr. Pillai is fully enlightened. He's at the highest level of mastery. So the techniques that he gives uh, carry his power in the technique. So that's why even with no level of experience, the techniques will strike you at a very deep place within you, at the soul level. They'll retune the mind, retune the body, retune the soul effortlessly. In fact, we have children in India at our Hope Centers. We now have 45 centers all throughout India. And these children use a very simple form of Dr. Pillai's techniques, and they're having incredible results. So, no, you don't need any experience at all. Uh, we've got another question here. Uh, can I use this even if I'm struggling, struggling and I'm not making money currently? Definitely. In fact, later on in the program, I'm going to be giving you an idea of the scalability of the financial changes that can be expected with the Millionaire Yoga Program. And Dr. Pillai shared that if you don't have a job at all and you're not making any money, you will definitely get a job and you will start making money. And uh, even if you're uh, making like ten dollars an hour you can definitely uh, expect an increase so I'll be sharing that later on and we've got one more question from Aetna reviews does bad karma get removed by these techniques absolutely and this is essential to Dr. Pillai's teachings because bad karma is basically a box which is locking us into a certain mindset it's the bad karma that makes us think, I'll never become a millionaire. So the beauty of Dr. Pillai's techniques is that they're so powerful, they target uh, the source of the problem at the deepest place. And the deepest place really is the karma. So when you use these mind-tuning techniques, they directly target and eradicate the bad karma in a really powerful way. OK. So that's it for our questions right now. And we're going to be joined now by Skype with another special guest. Her name is Heather Anderson, and she stayed up really late in Singapore to join us for the program. Heather, are you with us? I am. Hi, Mohini. How are you? Hi. Good to hear your voice again. So everyone, Heather Anderson is an artist and she's also currently working as a corporate identity manager for a standard chartered bank. Heather, I had the um, wonderful experience of meeting you when you came to our first event in Singapore, and I've witnessed all the miraculous changes in your life. 
And I would really love if you could just start at the beginning of your story and really show us a snapshot of what your life was like before you met Dr. Pillai and all the incredible changes that you've experienced now. Absolutely. Well, about two and a half years ago was when I first met Dr. Pillai. And uh, prior to that, my life had been a real struggle. I had not been able to build any kind of money. I was, people weren't paying me. I couldn't get any work. I was freelancing at the time. I had no relationship and no interest in a relationship because I had no self-esteem, because I had no money. Everything was going wrong for me. I remember sitting on the curbside outside a supermarket one day and just in tears thinking, I do not know what to do with my life. I don't know why this is happening to me. Fortunately then, I met Mohini and Dr. Pillai and I started to follow the practices. The very first opportunity actually that I was given was to design your Nadi Leaf brochure. And uh, instead of taking payment for that, I was offered the opportunity to do a barter and to have a Nadi Leaf reading and I took that. It felt right to me even though I really needed the money and that opened up a world of change for me as well. Predicted what was going to happen in my life with all of which has come true and I understand now that I had financial karma in my life and that the planets were enormously affecting the problems and issues that I had going on. So in the two and a half years since I've been following these practices my life's completely changed. I have a beautiful apartment that I'm just grateful for every day that I couldn't have dreamt of having before. I have a full-time job, which is fantastic. Uh, I work with great people. It pays me twice what it originally offered me and it's because of a Shreem practice that I did, asking for double what it originally offered. So I know that Shreem Brazil most definitely works. Um, I have a relationship with a lovely man. Uh, everything's going fantastically for me. Great gifts that I've received is through the mantras as an artist. I decided to put a pen in my hand one day and see what would happen if I chanted the mantras out loud. And what you see behind me is a result of that. I have a huge portfolio of art that I call Tra Art and I embed the mantras in it. And I'm actually putting a couple of pieces towards a charity auction soon. So I'm hoping that I can raise some money for a charity in India through that. There's also one in Hong Kong. So the mantras have evolved me as a person and evolved into something that hopefully I can help other people with as well. That's fantastic. Heather, I also find it really heartwarming that because you're being blessed by Dr. Pillai with this uh, financial abundance, that you're also a sponsor of one of our Hope Centers. And I just love your story about how you were able to visit a Hope Center about uh, two months ago. And can you tell us about that experience that you had with that little girl? Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, I've been fortunate as well because of the abundance that's in my life. And I've been to India four times this year, which I would never have dreamt of being able to do before. And I've been to, visited a lot of temples, been on trips with, your, with you and with Dr. Pillai. And when we went to visit the Hope Center on the last trip, it really touched my heart what can be done to help people in such dire situations. At the end, these children gave a performance for us. And uh, at the end, this one little girl came up and she just stared at me and held my hand so tight I thought she wasn't going to let go. And she was just filled with hope and happiness and joy. And really she had nothing except the opportunity the Hope Center had given her. I compared her to my niece who's around about the same age, 12 years old. And I felt how different their lives are and yet how happy and positive this child was. And it just inspired me and I wanted to be able to help to make more children experience life like that and as a result of what Dr. Pillai has given me it's really important for me to give back. That's great, thanks so much. Now Heather, when we talked the other day uh, you spoke straight from your heart about what Dr. Pillai really means to your life because of all this. So what does he really mean to you? Well I, I feel absolutely honored and blessed to be one of his students. I've been fortunate enough to meet him and spend time with him on a number of occasions. He's given me the opportunities to evolve myself as a human being, to change my destiny. I fully trust in everything that he's taught me because it's, it's been proven true in a very short space of time. And the fact that he's given me these mantras, I will be eternally grateful for because they've generated this work that I would never have been able to create without them because there's no conscious thought when I draw. These are coming through me. They're not from me. They're actually coming through me and through my hands. So that's been one of the most amazing gifts. And I do hope that I can give back through these mantras and share his work through the art that I've been creating as well. That's fantastic. Well, since you're with us close at hand in Singapore, I know that I'll be witnessing a lot more miracles. And uh, you had mentioned that in your naughty reading, it actually said that you were going to be speaking publicly around the world about Dr. Pillai's teaching. So 
I'm sure you're going to be sharing a lot more stories soon. It did, and that actually terrified me, and here I am doing it right now. So, <laughs> And you'll be joining us for our Google Hangout next week, so that's incredible. It's actually, it's really important to me to do this because I want Dr. Pillai to know how grateful I am for what he's given me, and I want to share it with other people, and I want them to understand really how your life can change. This is not something that I would have naturally followed given the life that I had in Scotland as a child. You know, I mean, I'm not a religious person, but I don't actually see this as religious teachings. To me, these are universal teachings. They go far, far beyond religion. The sound technologies are just amazing, and the shifts that they can create in people are phenomenal. Great. Heather, thank you so much for staying up late and joining us all the way from Singapore. And we Very look happy. forward to more miracles in your life soon. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, everyone. So now we're going to be joined by two incredible ladies. We have with us Ruth Smith and Linda Arsenio. It's really great to have you with us today. Hello. So Ruth Smith is a federally certified interpreter and she's the CEO of Data Language Services. And Linda Arsenio is an actress and model and you can see how beautiful she is. <laughs> So, um, you ladies have a commonality in your stories. You came from really humble beginnings, and I bet you couldn't even conceive what you've achieved in your life today. So, Ruth, can we start with you, and can you just take us from the beginning of your story? I love how you explained your experiences from childhood and, and how it's incredible where you are today. Sure. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Dr. Pillai Mohini and everybody who's made this possible. It is very exciting to be here, and I am happy to share my story. I am originally from Mexico City, and I was born and grew up there. I just came to the U.S. when I was 30, so uh, my whole life pretty much was spent an, in Mexico. And I come from a very humble family, from a very uh, poor family, and um, with great values, but we were very poor when I was a little girl. I share before with you uh, that um, uh, when I was little, we were staying at these rooms that had leaks all over the roof and, and it was raining really hard in Mexico City and since we didn't have the money to fix the leaks, my mom just put a, a piece of plastic over the blankets and I could hear the raindrops and I can even hear them now but because I remember it was very cold and um, of course no heating or insulation like in the US and um, and, and I was happy anyway I was a kid I, I, I didn't care and then I grew up uh, in, with uh, my parents like I said very great values but at the same time uh, very um, bad ideas about what wealth is. And uh, m my dad, for example, actually always said that it was greedy to want more, and um, my mom didn't agree. She, uh, she uh, was able to move us from this very poor slum in Mexico City to a middle class family, and I was able to get a, uh, an education. I, I graduated, and, and that's how I became an interpreter. But again, my idea of making it in life was to get a government job with a government agency with good benefits and in Mexico we have state-owned companies and so that was my idea of making it big and uh, that was it. Then I came to the US and I was always very interested in finding spiritual guidance and that's what uh, made me start looking for uh, a place to learn meditation and I came up with a I came across an ad with, about Dr. Pillai teaching a seminar here in, in San Diego and I met you and I met him and um, I was completely uh, amazed about his teachings and wealth in the concept of actually, uh, you know, having a 200% life. 100% spiritual, 100% material. I was always kind of running away from money and I didn't care about making it big. I, I just wanted to, like I said, have a government job and, and a pension to retire. And that's, that's, uh, that's how I pretty much uh, grew up. And when I came 
uh, to the U.S. And, and met Dr. Pillai. I already had a business actually when I met him. And then uh, I started doing his meditations. I started with the uh, meditation and then more and more uh, different techniques. And I remember uh, my husband at the time quit his job to make the, the company work and it was not working and we were having a really hard time. And all of a sudden my, my business started growing and we started getting more assignments. And I didn't have a car, I had a salvage car at the time, a very junky car that I bought at the junkyards in the border with Tijuana. And I didn't have a house, I, I lived in an apartment in a very bad neighborhood in San Diego with needles on the ground, you know, that's how bad it was, and um, that's uh, where I lived. And I started meditating. I want a business, I want a house, I wanted to get out of that neighborhood. I didn't want my, my child to, to grow up in that neighborhood. And two years later, I was able to buy a brand new car after having a junky car that didn't have AC or anything. And uh, my business started generating enough money to buy a house, so I bought a house. And then uh, Dr. Pillai was teaching about, you can manifest whatever you want. If you want a Mercedes Benz, you can have a Mercedes Benz. And in my wildest dreams, you know, I, I didn't even know what a Mercedes Benz was. That's, that, that was like, you know, I could uh, aspire to get a, a Chevy or you know, right. <laughs> something like that. But I manifested a Mercedes Benz, a brand new Mercedes Benz. And, and to me, coming from such humble beginnings, that was amazing. And, and I came and, and, and saw Baba, Dr. Pillai, and, and showed him the key. Look what I did with your techniques, with your teachings. And look at me, you know, having this mindset or this brain that about mediocrity and about not wanting money, what I've been able to create. But before I, I go on with so many different stories of manifestation, I want to share with you, and it's very similar to what Sash just said, and I was saying, but I was going to say exactly that, and it's amazing. I've never seen Sash in my life, and this is the first time I see him uh, in London, and um, he was saying, I, I have peace in my life, and that's exactly what I have now. I've gone through some hard times with karma and, and, and all those things. But right now, I'm a place in my life where even though there are issues in life because we're in this planet and there will always be issues or whatever you want to call them, problems, the great place that I find myself right now is my wealth. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, I have a beautiful husband I have a wonderful man by my side, and I manifested him too. Now how because did you do that? You were telling me because about this. Because I remember how, you know, throughout my, my uh, marriage with my ex-husband, I would pray and I would meditate, and I said, well, I want the Mercedes, and I want the, <laughs> the house, and I want to have a great business and whatnot. And um, I did. I traveled. I, you know, whatever. But I also always visualized my perfect relationship and I wanted to be in love with a man forever mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wanted him to love me forever and to keep that passion going I didn't want it to end I didn't want it to for me to oh go look for somebody else or this and lo and behold I manifested that and and it is because through the manifestation through the meditation, I mean, through the techniques, I would visualize what I wanted in that man and that relationship, and now I have it. I have two beautiful daughters. I'm, uh, I'm happy. I'm thankful every single day of my life for these teachings, for these uh, techniques. And, um, and look at me. I, uh, I can do whatever I want. I, there's no doubt in my mind that I can do whatever I want, whatever I put in my brain. 
and um, everything, all the limitations that we put, you know, I look like this, I come from a poor country, I'm Mexican, I'm not, you know, it's like all of that is gone and now is just utter positivity and that is to me the greatest wealth. Well, it's really your commitment. So what I really admire about you is that when you met Dr. Pilat, you just followed the steps and you totally believed in it and you didn't let negativity get in. So it's fantastic. It is. It is. I, I, am, I am very blessed and I, uh, and I must confess that sometimes uh, I falter. And, and I, you know, and, uh, just like Baba says that, uh, you know, there's a uh, commitment to non-commitment that I, you know, recommit and, and I don't let those distractions get me. Right. And I go back to, to my meditation, to my practices, and I keep on seeing the blessings coming from everywhere. But like I said, the most beautiful thing that I have now is the... Uh, love, peace, and happiness, just happiness. And, and, and that to me is the, the best in my, in, in my life that, that has ever happened to me. And, and now I am able to start like everybody else worrying about, you know, helping others. And, and that's why it's so exciting to be here. It's, it's such an amazing, opportunity to share my story and hopefully uh, inspire people around the world that that we can do it and, and and we can bring better betterment to this to this airplane well you're, you're such an incredible role model it's so exciting that you're going to be doing your Spanish Google hangout I have am. you started those yet uh, no uh, but uh, I, I was uh, you know since this was coming and there were so many other things happening. I, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna start with that until this uh, passed. But uh, we're doing all the YouTube in Spanish, and uh, we're doing all the technicalities. We have. I want to thank uh, the beautiful volunteers from around the world that are actually helping with the translation because technology is not there yet to do it automatically. So right. human beings still have to. Uh, clean it up and, and, and make it sound right in, in the language that you're giving it. This is in Spanish, of course. And uh, I want to thank all the volunteers because they're doing an incredible, an incredible job. In, in, uh, and it's all because of the love and of, you know, that Dr. Pillai has brought to us and, and all his blessings and uh, just uh, incredible. Um, we have a great... Uh, great plans and, and we're working towards starting the Spanish Google Hangout pretty mm. soon. So, you know, just to share all these beautiful and divine teachings with the world. Well, just thank you so much for being you, for caring about your people. And Ruth is also uh, a sponsor of our Hope Centers in India. So again, that really touches my heart that as Dr. Pillai gives to you, you're giving back to others. It is, so. it is amazing. I. I've helped my people in, in Mexico, my family, yeah. and I put two of my nieces through college. Because like I said, we come from humble beginnings. And even though now, uh, through the efforts of my mother, you know, we're middle class or, you know, they're middle class down there. There's still a lot of, uh, there's a lot of challenges and I've yeah. helped them and because I, I've received so many blessings. It is, uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm sharing what I've accomplished. And it's, it's, it's just uh, so exciting to share all these teachings because they do work. You're the proof. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you. much. So, Linda, we'd love to hear from you. I just remember uh, seeing you in New York, and it was incredible the way that Dr. Pillai just created this opportunity for you to go to Bollywood and be an actress. It's a very glamorous story. <laughs> so can you share with us? Sure, I'd love to. Um, Firstly, I just want to say I feel so blessed to be here. I'm just full of gratitude. I, it's just such a blessing. I can't believe I'm here. I'm happy I'm here. I hope my story will bring some inspiration to people out there. I basically, um, I, I met um, 
uh, Baba, Dr. Pile, in Dallas, Texas, some years back. Uh, he was giving a discourse, and just automatically, when I was in the room, I just you just know certain things in life, and I just knew automatically I was in the presence of a master. And um, I had this, uh, you know, I had this thing where I, I, I met him, and I just showed this keen interest that you know I must go to India, you know, and <laughs> I just felt like I, India was calling me there. I've, I've always felt this like soul connection at any rate with India since a young age. So that was the first meeting and, and you know going back to my beginnings, I too come from a very humble background. Um, when my parents separated when we were I was four, my mother is a single mother and we were she raised us three daughters on her own. Um, you know we were poor, we lived in you know um, a family place type of shelter because we didn't have money to pay rent and uh, it was a very humble beginning living in projects and my mother's one of the strongest women I know she we she really got in got on in there and you know worked to where we are today so but I just really resonated with um, Dr. Pillay's teachings so I just started following his teachings and then I moved to New York City and you know, the first manifestation came true. I was able to go to India in 2002 on the first Indian pilgrimage and go to other, travel other places in the world, pilgrimages and discourses he was giving. Then one fine day, I was living in New York City and, you know, let's be real here, I have to work. I was, you know, wasn't living some grandioso life. It was very mediocre. I was just like, I had to have a job, but I was like bartending crazy hours on the Upper West Side, nonstop, and, you know, I was in a very unhappy relationship. I was taking acting classes, but, you know, um, which were very valuable, but I wasn't really doing anything, like, right. <laughs> and um, so then one fine day, I come home from work, check the email, and it was an email from you, and you were sharing, um, Baba would like to gift you a gift to come to India, and stay for six months and explore opportunities with acting and modeling and I was just like what oh my gosh this is like you're kidding me and I just automatically without blinking an eye I'm like yes of course and um, the flight was just in one week's time and it's just amazing when you have what you can accomplish when you just put your mind to like within one week's time I packed up my apartment everything was out I flew to Texas to say you know mother I'm gonna be in India the next six months what not so the next thing, um, he just basically picked me up out of, Indi out of New York City and dropped me in India. He just kind of swooped down and like a, like a savior of some sort. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I had no inclination towards acting you know, in Indian cinema, but I had to get started somewhere. So I started acting in, um, dancing in Indian films, like uh, down south, we were living in Chennai, just to get you know, a foot in the door and get acquainted with the industry. Then. The, um, the tsunami occur, uh, occurred, the, which hit uh, Tamil Nadu and Thailand area on uh, Christmas 2006. And basically, um, we, uh, Baba had created the girls town, 40 girls that were uh, affected from this tragedy of the tsunami. So he calls me from America one day and he says, I'd, um, I'd like you to hold a press conference and bring these 40 girls that are now much older now they're I mean this is like they've been truly blessed with um, girls town and have bring them to go see the movie that you're uh, there was a movie that was currently playing in the movie bring them all have popcorn watch the movie let them see you on the big screen take them to the Taj for a you know five-star dinner and invite the press and give a give a speech on just kind of how where you came from and growing up without you know single parent home and no money and where where I am today and just to instill some inspiration in these little girls and I was I was really nervous about the whole thing but I did it and it was just a group effort on all of us there we just kind of put our minds together and got this event together and it basically that was very much a um, a very poignant turning point uh, and how like just things started to unfold it, it became it was on the cover of Outlook India and a director noticed and 
he, I got an email, and it was like with the top banner uh, in India. It's Yash Raj, and I'm, I basically starred opposite um, two big Bollywood movie stars, John Abraham and Arshad Warsi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked with VJ down south in Tamil Nadu, Mamuti in Kerala. Maybe n none of you guys know, but for you Indian viewers out there, <laughs> you'll probably you'll have these, the big guys over there. So it was truly a blessing. It's just basically, he just really, just really changed my destiny. It was all because of his love, his blessings, his um, care and patience and grace above all that all these things, I was cast in this movie, Kabul Express, we shot in Afghanistan for two months. Um, we stayed in a compound and we just, it was crazy, daily death threats from the Taliban on a daily basis, just hearing gunfire going off in the, in the distance as we're shooting with cameras and they're shooting with guns. It was just a wild experience, but it really just, it was such a blessing because it just put me out there to be able to work. I've done four Hindi films. Um, I've shot Tamil films, two Telugu, two Malayalam, one Malayalam Hindi. So, and this was all because of Dr. Pillay. So just living in India alone, that experience in and of itself, being able to you know, go on pilgrimages, travel throughout India, but then add to that, I was able to be there working, you know, um, shooting it with, you know, Hrithik Roshan, I shot stunt, you know, I was able to train mixed martial arts at Atish Academy for, for performing extreme arts. I was able to do my own stunts and films and commercials and, and it was all because of that. And it was like, he created that. I was able to live there and do what I love and earn great money doing what I love and being happy and it's still it's still going on it's the you know I'm still experiencing all the things that all his blessings and I'm just so very grateful and I just you know I just hope that people are inspired to just follow the teachings have faith and you know his these teachings they're all tools and they hold little nuggets of grace with them and he gives us all these tools but you just kind of pick and choose with what re what you resonate with and what works for you so that's kind of that's how inspiring. it all unfolded <laughs> that's inspiring you know someone was telling me a story about how um you used to go to boot camp in new york uh -huh. and this particular person <laughs> sorry <laughs> this particular person uh one morning she went to boot camp i think you guys started at 4 30 in the morning uh-huh and, and i had worked that previous yeah night. you were bartending the previous night mm -hmm. and you were there sitting in the dark writing your mantras uh -huh. you know just writing 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 the mantras uh -huh. so i also i really admire your commitment and that's what you brought Thank to it you. otherwise dr pilai couldn't have created that opportunity for you so you Thank had to take you. action and commit and now look what it's brought you it's incredible well it's just been an amazing experience like when I share my story with people sometimes, especially like here in America people are what <laughs> shot in Kabul and like all over it what <laughs> huh you know but it is it, it's just been like you know the the experience of it has been priceless the people have been able to meet the work you, you know the, the money, the earnings, that's all, it's just, it's just all in of itself. And it's not just exclusive, it's just the experience of life and being able to, you know, get out there and affect people in this world in a good way. Well, we look forward to many more things that are great coming in your career. Thank you, Mohini. So it's so wonderful having you two ladies with us. Are there any questions from the audience for these two incredible ladies? Okay. From Ali Chris, it seems like I have to be self-employed to see major results. As a regular employed person, what results am I going to get? So I'll field this one, ladies. Um, so Dr. Pillai says that, yes, if you want to take the fast route and really the express elevator, then uh, you would have to pursue something different and totally go for it, like starting a business, and then you can make a million dollars. However, if you're working in a job, uh, let me just give you an idea of uh, really what you can expect from the Millionaire Yoga program. So let's say that you're working at a job which is less than 50,000 a year. You can certainly expect a 15 to 20% increase in the next six months. 
and then that would be doubled in a year. And if you're already a millionaire, uh, you could expect to see an increase of 20 to 25 percent, or much better if you really put your mind to it. And if you're only making $10 an hour, you can expect to see an increase of 10 to 15 percent. However, uh, like I said at the beginning, Dr. Pillai said at any time, if you choose to go the fast route, you can just step outside of yourself and do something totally new. And in the Millionaire Yoga program, as a supplementary component, we have a business analyst that is going to help people specifically interested with moving from a salaried employee uh, to a self-employed entrepreneur. So we have specific help with that in the program. And just the entire Millionaire Yoga program walks you through step by step exactly what you need to do in order to tune your brain to financial abundance and, yes, the neurology of a millionaire. So we've got another question here, and this is from Sai Amrita Kaul, and it's a question for the ladies. Was there a point when you felt like you were being stupid for asking for certain things? And how did you deal with that? Well, yeah, I felt that if I asked for so many things, they were not going to manifest. And, and I had a, you know, I had problems deciding what I, what I wanted first, and then I and then I wanted everything, and so <laughs> I pretty much, I pretty much just did everything, and everything manifested. And uh, it's just incredible, you know. I just look back and, and just uh, so many miracles. It's, it's, it's just amazing, one after another after another. And uh, then, like I said, you know, then karma comes and then uh, there were challenges in life, but I never, uh, I, I never stopped believing in the, in the practice and, and, um, and I just did it. And, and yeah, you know, I felt uh, kind of uh, stupid asking for, you know, uh, a wonderful relationship or a wonderful or a business or I want this or, I, or even the Mercedes Benz is like you know and and yeah I did but I I still did it and 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 there shouldn't be any limitations just like yep. Dr. Pillai says you know I was actually you know uh, finding uh, excuses of oh, I'm, I don't know I am not educated I am not. no I just did it with faith, <laughs> and it happened. And what I love about your story is you said you didn't even have the thought to have a Mercedes until he, he gave you the thought. So that's really proving that you have mastery over materiality. Exactly. And because, that's part of the spiritual path. Yeah. And I, I was never able to conceive. Right. I, I didn't conceive of the thought. It wasn't even in my brain. How could I even create it if it yep. was not even once I put the thought in my mind I had the house I had the business I had the the Mercedes Benz I had travels I had was able to visit and pursue my spiritual path in in uh, my wonderful relationship and and now I'm at that place you know because I was able to conceive of being happy of being at peace of being uh, just utterly positive about life and that's where I'm at you know and you had a chance to demonstrate your mastery yeah that's really important definitely. that's where the rubber meets the road yep <laughs> okay do we have another question here last question from Alicris how many hours per day does it take to use this program well uh, very happily it doesn't even take an hour the techniques that Dr. Pillai gives for a millionaire yoga only take 30 minutes per day and there are webinars throughout the program which come at a regular interval but your commitment to your daily practice is half an hour a day and that doesn't need to be sitting down and and crossing your legs and being in a yogic posture so uh, you can do the techniques while you're cooking and while you're exercising or while you're commuting and that's what Dr. Pillai talks about is that there's a point when these techniques become effortless and that's what Saj was sharing from London. And I'm sure you ladies felt that as well. The techniques become part of you. So um, yes, there is a time commitment, but the joy is that then every moment becomes miracles and magical manifestations. So um, any other questions from anybody? I have a question. 
We got some new members here. I just want to say we've got some new registrants. <laughs> Ingrid B. from Florida, welcome to the Millionaire Yoga Program. And uh, Chris C. from San Diego, Maria D. from Ontario, Sue L. from the USA, Michael L. from the USA, Pretty G., great name, from the UK, Wayne D. from USA, Zelia from the USA, Bert O. from the USA, and Patricia A. from the, uh, Australia. Congratulations. All of you guys are going to have incredible results from this program. So welcome for joining us. Uh, we had a question over here. Hi. Hi. Yes. The question is, on the coaching sessions, how are they coordinating that time? Are they individual coaching or is it group coaching? And Great question. Okay, so we have uh, two different components that are related to coaching. We have a group coaching program, and that's going to be nine sessions with a coaching expert over the 45-day program. It'll extend a little bit beyond the program. And this coaching program would be added on as an extra component to the Millionaire Yoga program. And the importance of coaching is that Dr. P. Lai teaches that everybody needs a coach. So it really helps with commitment and accountability. Uh, a lot of people find that discipline is hard. So when you have a coach, the coach keeps you accountable and on track and on target. So the group coaching component is one aspect that you can add on to the Millionaire Yoga Program. Uh, however, inside the Millionaire Yoga Program, there are eight webinars which are going to be interactive in nature. And there's four group calls where on the calls, people will be fielding questions and they'll be uh, helping you just know how to uh, fine tune how you use the technique so that you get the most power uh, from it. So there's going to be uh, a lot of interaction and support in the program. Now, for the people that want to work with a business analyst who is going to be helping people move from being an employee to an entrepreneur, um, you have to put in an application for that. And I'll just give you um, a sneak peek on a freebie, which is coming up. Uh, actually, today, for people that sign up for the Millionaire Yoga Program, uh, we have one of our guests is that business expert that will be doing the coaching. And she's going to be giving a 30 free customized assessments, uh, helping people to analyze where they are currently and how they can take that to entrepreneurship. So that's something which is coming up soon. My question is, how are they coordinating the time in your... Well, oh, the timing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the, the group coaching program is um, a set time every week. Uh, so we have to pick a time which works for most of the people. And uh, for the uh, customized coaching that would be set up on a calendar with the business expert individually. Hope that answered the question. Any other questions? Okay, so it's a great time for me to summarize the Millionaire Yoga Program because I know that people are getting excited now. So um, actually in Dr. P. Lai's uh, video and audio teachings, it's not just teachings and a techniques, it is three initiations into the exact targeted techniques that will help you gain a millionaire mind. Uh, the videos, of course, they're all Dr. P. Lai. And uh, this component itself has like a $600 value. And then we have a four live teaching uh, Q&A group coaching calls. And again, these group coaching calls will be at a set time so that uh, you know that well ahead of time. And uh, the value on that, can you just uh, bring that down a little bit there? Uh, if you can go back up. There we are. The value on that is uh, $200 just for the four group coaching calls. And then uh, for today, we actually added an additional webinar into the Millionaire Yoga Program. So now there's eight webinars with experts. Uh, that will really help you get launched in very practical areas of your life, like goal setting. I'm going to be teaching the millionaire makeover so that you can look like a millionaire and attract opportunities into your life. Uh, just those eight webinars have a $560 value. And then we have uh, two personalized Vedic astrology readings. And these are really important because this is a very targeted money report in order to tell you uh, what do the planets give you? What vibrations are they sending you in terms of what career or what a business opportunity would bring you money? And just these two readings alone uh, have a $180 value. 
So we really have like a total of five, 15 sessions and two life-changing reports. The total value is $1,540. So you can see that the price of $497, like I said, it's just a blessing. It's an energy exchange and uh, it makes the techniques really work when you're giving back to the master that's created these techniques. And because registration is only open today, we're uh, helping people make that easier to step in by offering the two installment plans of $277, one today and then one in a few weeks. So, um, and I just want to remind everyone, it is really easy to do these techniques. Like I was saying, children in India can do it. At any age, you can do it. You don't need experience. It's uh, only 30 minutes a day. And um, even with the children that are using them uh, at, in India, they get immediate self-confidence, focus, clarity. Their academic scores improve. And adults wouldn't be looking at that. But academic scores are a measure of how the brain is changing. And it's actually functioning in a, in a much more efficient way, much more powerful way. So, uh, and the best thing about the Millionaire Yoga Program is as Dr. Uh, Pillai explains, it becomes effortless. It's something that you can do without even knowing that you're doing it because it's really part of your daily routine. I know for me, these techniques just uh, move through my mind and my body and my soul all throughout the day so that you become the mantra. And when you become the mantra, that's when the magic happens and you just become a money magnet. So um, for the people that are excited about joining the Millionaire Yoga Program, uh, you can actually have one week to just try it out and there's no risk uh, because we have a seven day money back guarantee. And I just want to remind you again that registration does close today and again that's because we have to launch this incredible program in one week because the program has to be fully rolling while we're in this incredible time for money miracles. So that's why registration will end today. And the way that you can get started is to um, click on that button that says begin now. And again, to make this fun to commit, the next 20 registrants are going to receive a free ebook of Dr. P. Lai's uh, life-changing sounds. And this is like, there is incredible. There's like 12 different techniques that can change your life right here. So that's a really beautiful gift. And it's got a great value. So the next 20 registrants for the Millionaire Yoga Program receive this gift. We're going to take another break, and we'll see you soon. Welcome back to Dr. P. Lai's Millionaire Yoga Talk Show. And we have with us a special guest couple now. We have Vish and Akila Iyer all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They're joining us from Skype. Dr. Vish Iyer is a trained surgeon and he has a practice in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And his lovely wife, Akila, is a senior financial management professional. So Vish, let's start with you. You told me a really heartwarming story last week about how you met Dr. Pillai and the impact that he had on your life. Can you please share with us? Yeah, number one, thank you for having us uh, on the program. Uh, it's, it's really an honor. Um, it, was a, it was several years ago, um, probably about eight or nine years ago, that uh, I heard about Dr. Pillai and what he does. And uh, I just wanted to, I was kind of more curious than anything else. So I wanted to talk to him. So I have, had a chance to meet with him. And at that time, he was talking about the various epics and the various scriptures from a completely different perspective. And that kind of intrigued me more than anything else. And then I said, no, I'd like to talk to you uh, at some point of time when you have a moment. And uh, he agreed to that. So I went to visit with him in his office. He was sitting behind his desk. There were his... Um, other people who work in his office were there uh, coming and talking to him about various aspects of um, the day-to-day -day operations. And uh, he got a phone call from somewhere in London and um, was talking. 
and I was approaching the whole thing purely from an intellectual perspective, from my <laughs> frontal brain, from the neocortex, I should say. And I was asking him various, my knowledge that whatever I had, I had a genuine interest to expand that. So I was talking to him from an intellectual aspect. And I was asking him various questions and he was also replying and then uh, he said that um, he shared with me that he had been Swami Ramalingam and uh, Sage Agastir and Bhishmacharya. And I asked him, I, I suspect in a kind of on, in an honest manner, you know, if you were whoever you claim that you have been, then you should be somewhere else. You should be in the heavens. And why are we here? He looked at me straight in my eyes and said, I can be there and I can be here as well. And I was taken aback because, number one, I wasn't expecting that answer. And I was not able to fathom the depth of that answer. I stopped talking. And, um, of course, I'm a married man. I'm not used to talking anyway. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yes, I stopped talking and, and, they, and I was listening to him. After a few minutes, he looked at me straight in my eyes. And he and I froze. And then he lifted his hand up. I mean, just imagine you're, you're visiting somebody and talking to him in his office. He's sitting on the other side of the desk and you're in this side of the desk. He lifts his hand and there was his sacred ash, Vibhuti. He gave it to me. I froze. I fell at his feet. I cried. And since that day, I am truly blessed that I'm able to follow his teaching. That's so beautiful. Every time I hear that dish, that really touches my heart. Thank you so much for sharing. Is there anything you would like to share with us about the tangible changes that Dr. Pillai has brought into your life? Um, yeah, I, I think in terms of materialistic benefits, uh, things have been uh, always been looking upwards and on a more and more positive note ever since uh, I have had the opportunity to study with Dr. Pillai. Um, but it's, 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 it's much more than that. For starters, you know, I'm not a, the, the type of a person who can feel things or who can, um, uh, uh, you know, appreciate something. I mean, I'm, I'm just an ordinary Joe. I'll put it that way, okay? For me, the whole thing is all about life. What is the purpose of life? Okay, sure, I might have studied a little bit, I might have uh, practiced a little bit, I might have earned a little bit, but where does it all take you? And the ancient uh, scriptures, they are extremely clear in that as to where life takes you and what is the purpose of life, why are you born, what are you trying to achieve um, here? And that says Asatoma Satgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, Rityodma Amritam Gamaya. In, in, in a nutshell, what it means is that from darkness you go to light, from lack of truth and thereof and there, thereabouts you go to the ultimate truth. But most importantly, you go from mortality to immortality. Now that is all no, that, that's much of that's quite an abstract concept. To me, the single most thing is that Baba takes us, Dr. Pillai takes us all through this process in, in, in such a pleasurable manner. He gives us bits of candies and everything else. He says, hey, here, you want a couple of million, here, take it. You want a house, take it. You want a month, take it. Now, don't lose focus of that. Let's keep going. So what work can you ask for? You get 100% spiritual realm. And one hundred percent in this material realm. What more can you ask for? You said it perfectly. Before we move on to hearing from your lovely wife, can the two of you just move in a bit together so that we can see both of your lovely faces? If you insist. Okay, that's looking good. Thank you, Vish. That was really heartwarming. Uh, Akila, can we hear from you now? You were sharing with me about all the changes in your family that means so much to you and I, I love the way that you practically track 
the material changes in your family's life uh, because mm -hmm. you are a financial management professional. So please share. Sure. I have to tell you, um, I came to Baba literally through a trial of fire. Um, I was sharing with you, there was a kitchen fire in the house and uh, um, we had already been at this point studying with Baba for a few years. And um, I guess I wasn't ready. And so uh, to accept um, the teachings and it literally took, he got my attention through fire. And ever since then, I've been studying with him. I have to tell you, it's always been a good life. Right now, we are having a great life. Uh, one of the things that he um, actively says is, every moment is new. And uh, I've been able to experience it. Um, and uh, as I shared with you, Mohini, both financially, uh, we are much better off. Like I said, uh, it wasn't that we had lack, but it's great right now. And uh, relationships, especially with our children, which had started to um, taper off a little bit as they got into their 20s, uh, are a lot better. That's really beautiful. Now, Akila, uh, because you are going to be one of the people that will be bringing together a beautiful component, a supplementary component of the Millionaire Yoga program, uh, I'd really love to hear more about your passion to serve people in this way. Uh, could you explain more about your expertise and what you can do for people in helping them move from employee consciousness to entrepreneurial consciousness? Absolutely, Moini. Um, it's, uh, it was indeed a privilege when um, Baba proposed I take on this particular aspect of uh, uh, the Millionaire Yoga program. I have lived it and uh, he's continuously helping me live it. I've moved from employment through self-employment and um, done it multiple times and helped a lot of people. Essentially, my background is uh, in financial services and business all the way uh, in my employed world. Uh, Lazar Brothers, um, Merrill Lynch, and uh, Royal Bank of Scotland. So uh, I have um, helped every uh, kind of business from online retail to um, managing portfolios. I mean, basically anything from research firms to um, uh, e-tailing to starting and running e-commerce businesses I have done. So when he presented me with the opportunity to be a part of the program, I, I know what it takes for somebody who is sure about getting the salary these days, even that is not a guarantee. Okay. To move from there to take the um, plunge into entrepreneurship, uh, as I said, I've lived it. I have helped a lot of people move, make that transition and can help make it easier by um, being their partner through the process. Great. So everyone, I just want to remind you again, I gave you that sneak peek earlier, but uh, Vish, I'm sorry, Vish's lovely wife, Akila Iyer, is going to be offering 30 free customized assessments in helping people move from a salaried employee to a self-employed uh, entrepreneur. And the first you have to sign up for the Millionaire Yoga Program, put in an application to the million, Millionaire Yoga Support email, and then on a first come, first serve basis, we'll be selecting those 30 lucky people. So you can get started on uh, being first come, first serve to that offer by clicking the Begin Now button to the right of your viewing window. And thank you so much, Vish and Akila, for joining us. It's always so beautiful to see the two of you together. And uh, I know you've been with Dr. Pillai for such a long time. You're a role model to everyone else. And your story really touched me. I know it's really touched the heart of many people watching this program. 
it, you. it's all Dr. Pillai's blessings and thank you for providing us with an opportunity to share our experiences with everyone. Thank, thank you for joining. Thank you. We've got some new members to the Millionaire Yoga program. Suda J in New Jersey, Charlotte P in Georgia, Akash M from Canada, Shirley E from Maryland, John S from Oregon, Basanta B from Finland, all over the world, Leah N from Canada, Emmanuel G from Australia, Russell M from Texas, Lupe S from California, and Girish T from Pittsburgh. So welcome all of you, and again, you're in for an incredible program and incredible results, especially during this powerful time of money miracles. What a great time to claim a new financial destiny for yourself. So I just want to remind everyone again that um, we do need to close registration today. In fact, at the end of this program, we got to end registration because like I said, we have to roll out a program in only one week and we can actually only take a limited number of people because we have these customized reports. So, um, and those of you that are thinking about it, you can try for absolutely one week and there's absolutely no risk. So the way that you get started now, you just go to the button to the right of your viewing window, it says get started now, and you can join now.